I really don't know how to define it. It's 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 not possible for me to define it. It's it's just one of those things that you feel this is yes, yes I believe in this. I am Somnath Pal. Uh, I am an independent animation filmmaker. It's about the idea that your efforts don't go waste. It's about it's about that believing in your dreams. It's about that. As a filmmaker, I would want my audience to support that. When when the end twist is revealed, I would definitely want my audience to like jump over it and say, "Yes, this is what I wanted." I have tried to be very honest with the film. The story isn't mine. Yes, I I did uh, rip it off from my sister's childhood incident. She was the one who planted a chocolate or a candy. So I have put in elements of my childhood. I've tried to put in my influences that I've had. the the little incidents that used to take place in my own backyard i have tried a little bit of everything so as to stay honest to that whole theme but still take the whole event from my point of view i'm trying to create that language where this kid is a shy kid and he doesn't speak so that is how i ended up not giving him out whenever the need be i wanted him to express through the eyes i i just didn't want him to shout and scream and cry just to show that he's disappointed i wanted something which is very subtle where he expresses but it's barely an expression although he's a shy kid although he doesn't speak he would still stand for for his dreams for his belief traditional gives you a lot of difficulties because you you know the rules but when it when it comes down to flipping those pages and understanding animation no everything goes for a toss at least my first five line drawings all went for a toss because i didn't know what to do like i did doodles and they were not working out there there was this one moment where i thought it clicked and i said yes i'm going to go with traditional I can't tell you the number of problems that I faced. I used to bang my head because I was not getting my animation right. When it came to making backgrounds, I like my mind was always working in one particular direction because I have been born and brought up with those are the images that I have come across all the time. So whenever I sat to draw, I I didn't know my exposure maybe is too little that I ended up drawing the same backgrounds all the time. Mixing watercolor with digital it gives you more freedom then it kind of gave me the opportunity to like controlled background on on a digital work and then use these natural textures and all that and merge them and try and get an image that is visually appealing like if i have to visualize my kitchen i'll visualize it that way because those were the angles that i have been in no like i, I when i see it I see it that way. There could have been a better shot. You know, I could have taken a shot, sort of an establishment shot where you know follow all the rules in animation. I just wanted to go with what I what what my mind makes me think on. Like the immediate image that comes to my mind is what I'll go with. for this one film because of the kind of film it is it also tells you about the soul of this guy right i just wanted to follow this soul i just wanted to make break all structures if it doesn't have structure i don't mind it's it's okay i'm i'm fine with that that way i don't know